Hao food expert. Today I'm going to share a recipe for making gingerbread men with fresh ginger. This is a great and easy recipe for gingerbread men and it tastes even better when you use fresh ginger. First, you want to get started with a large mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add 3 quarters cups of packed brown sugar. Then I'm going to add a couple eggs. These are just regular brown, medium size eggs. Get those in there, you'll want to watch out for shells. And then I'm adding a quarter cup of molasses. Did you know molasses is the substance that they take out of white sugar? And brown sugar is just white sugar and molasses added together. I just learned that. Now I'm going to add one stick of butter. Now I'm just going to blend until mixed together. Now that my butters and sugars are creamed together perfectly, I am going to add my spices. I have a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And if you have fresh ground nutmeg, that will taste a lot better. I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm going to add my ginger. If you only have ground ginger, use that. But for this recipe, I am using ground fresh ginger. So I've just got a piece of peeled ginger. You're going to need about a half inch piece of it to make about a tablespoon of ginger. I'm just grating it directly into my bowl and it smells delicious. It's really starting to smell like the holidays in here. Okay, grate a little bit more in there. And if you like more spice, feel free to add some extra cinnamon, some extra nutmeg. I definitely added some extra ginger to my gingerbread men. Now I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And then I'm going to add, then I'm going to add three and three quarter cups of flour. Today I'm using just a plain organic flour. You could use whole wheat flour, a gluten-free flour mix, a spelt flour, whatever you would normally use for your flour. And now I'm just going to mix everything together until blended perfectly. While the gingerbread is mixing, the dough is going to look a little coarse. So you're going to want to add one cup of hot water. I just added my hot water to the cup the molasses was in so I can get some of that extra molasses out of there. Using hot water is key in this recipe because it's going to help everything blend together perfectly, but it's also going to activate with the baking soda to get a nice little puffy finish on our gingerbread men. This is Mariko showing you a gingerbread men recipe with fresh ginger. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.